Okay, so we're going to move on with a little bit more math now. Um, we'll look at some, some derived units, so something like meters per second. Really, we're going to focus on density here. And density is mass over volume, and we have a few different um, do a few different units for volume. You can have a liter, you can have a milliliter, you can have a centimeter cubed. So a milliliter is one centimeter cubed. So if you think about, uh, oops, if you think about a cube, it has one centimeter on each side. This is one centimeter. Oh, boy, that's a terrible cube. One centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. This is one milliliter. The whole thing is one milliliter. And so density is uh, mass over volume, so you should really memorize that equation. We're going to use that a lot. Our first lab is going to be all about density. You're going to have to be able to rearrange this equation. So let's take a minute to even uh, to look at that. So suppose I wanted, to, if I was given, basically the whole idea is you have three variables here. You're going to be given two, you have to find the other one. So if you have mass and volume, then you just mass over volume, you get density. Suppose you have density and volume, you want to solve for mass, you would have uh, you know, density times volume would give you mass. Oops. Right, that's one equation. I would just multiply both sides by volume. And then if suppose you wanted to solve this one for volume, then I would divide both sides by density here and I'd have volume is mass over density. If you're terrible at algebra, like suppose you took math online and you cheated your way through it and you have no idea how to rearrange this equation. Yeah, that's that's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to come back from that. Um, I, can, I can show you the the way that we learned how to do triangular equations in uh, woodshop, which I, I recommend that you study math, but if you're not, if you just want to get through this problem without that, eventually this will catch up to you. But if you have density is mass over volume, you can set up this little triangle, right? And when you're trying to solve for density, you know, cover this up. So when you cover that up, right, that, then you get mass over volume. If you're trying to solve for volume, cover this up and you get mass over density. If you're trying to solve for math, cover um, for mass, cover this one up, you have density times volume. So that's a little trick for rearranging this equation if you don't understand algebra. Um, if you're struggling with the algebra, make sure you go to the tutoring center. We have free tutoring. Come ask me, I can break it down even more for you. Algebra is a, a big part of this class, so you're gonna need to learn how to do this. This will only work for a few equations, this little triangle thing. All right, so if you're trying to calculate the density, of mercury they give you mass here that's 100 grams and they give you the volume so you have density is mass over volume density is mass that's grams over the volume don't forget your units units are going to be really important you have mass over volume here this ends up being 13.6 grams per centimeter cubed all right, don't forget your volume, or don't forget your units. Uh, and centimeters cubed is the same as a milliliter, so if you had to convert this later on, then you can you can do that. And we'll go over that in chapter 1.6. Let's try another one. Calculate the volume. So calculate the volume. So now we're trying to solve for volume. And again, density is mass over volume. So we're trying to solve for volume, so we can rearrange this equation. Multiply both sides by volume. You get volume times density gives you mass and then divide both sides by density and you get volume is mass over density. Um, if you can do that in your head, awesome, do it in your head. So here they give us density and they give us mass, we're looking for the volume. So volume is just the mass, that's 65, over the density, 0 0.791 grams per milliliter. Um, so you're gonna end up with 82.2 milliliters. So be careful here because in some of the homework problems these units don't match those units. right? So what if they give you density in grams per liter and um, over here you have kilograms or something. You'd have to convert the kilograms to grams and then get grams per liter. Whatever you have. Um, so make sure these, these match. If this is in grams this should be in grams per milliliter and then your milliliters over here will be your final answer. So be careful with your units. Um, oh, and also look at these units. So if you had gram divided by gram divided by uh, grams over milliliters, you basically have one over one over milliliters, which gives you a milliliter. Okay, last one in the section. Um, what is the mass? Now we're looking for mass in grams. Uh, so what is the mass in grams? They're giving you density. 
and they're giving you the length of a cube. So if they give you the length of a cube, a cube means that picture that we just had there before, length times width times height is the volume. So the first thing you have to do is find um, the volume. All right, so volume is going to be, I have 2.00 centimeters cubed, right? So two times two times two is going to give me eight centimeters cubed. Oop, eight centimeters cubed, that's my volume. Length times width times height. And then they give me the density. So I have volume times density. So I'm basically using this equation. Volume times density should give me mass. Uh, my volume is in centimeters cubed. My density is in centimeters cubed. So my units match. So I can just say volume times density. Volume times the density. So my centimeters cubed are going to cancel, and I can just multiply those two numbers. I uh, get yeah, 155. And we're going to talk about significant figures in the next section. Exact numbers and exact numbers and all that good stuff. So make sure you try a whole bunch of homework problems on, on density. This will be on a quiz. This will be on an exam. Your first lab will be all about density.